Brock the owl, Brock the owl shy, Brock the owl, Brock the owl shy, Brock the owl, Brock the owl, Bashim, Yahu Shai, Bashim, Chakodash, the belongs to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, true well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there, you are came to Zadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. I'm the preacher, Mon. This week's topic I'm going to be talking about, um, you know, promotion. Psalm 75, 6 chapter, the 6th. Psalm 70, Psalms, the 75th chapter, the 6th to the 7th verse tells us that promotion comes neither from the north or the east, but it comes from the Lord, you know? And it seems like these little entrances have, has become episodic. They all tie in line. And the reason I'm hopping on this point is, you know, for brothers that you might work busy schedules and you sometimes, you know, you come home, you knock out, you just certain news and current affairs you just kind of just didn't get to. You know what I mean? So when that happens, you get quote unquote writer's block, right? Which is just demons. You know, like in, in other words, he's like, man, I, I got to do a show. I got to put together a lesson, man. I got to feed my flock. Because, brothers, you do have to see it like that. You know, when we come to this thing with shepherds and when we're putting together these videos, it's feeding. All right? Man shall not live by bread alone, as the Lord said. So you, and the scriptures tell you in the book of Proverbs 27, I believe, uh, the righteous is diligent to know the state of thy flock. You know, so am I watering? Am I giving the flock food? Um, so I don't give a hell if somebody say uh, three shows is. Uh, I'll name names of war Three shows a week Is making it mandatory That's not the spirit Well hell no Well that's the spirit of the Lord Getting on the pots of the Taha Alright To make sure that That water is continually flowing Okay so Find something to talk about And what I'm doing right now To the spirit Is If I'm knocking out early from work Or whatever I'm saying okay What am I going through On a daily basis Well how can it relate to the scriptures And how can I bring this out In an edifying manner You know because You walk in this world circumspect Alright you're looking around, you're observing things, but you're walking through it with the eye and the mindset and the wisdom of the scriptures, Revelations 3 and 18. So whatever's happening around you in your daily gig or whatever, life situations, whatever's going on, um, you know, you could you could formulate, man, okay, the scriptures, this is going down, down like this according to the scriptures. The scriptures tie into everything, you know. So the reason I want to talk about promotion, all right, coming from the Lord is, you know, brothers, you know, talking with different brothers and we just have a completely different mindset. Um, of when we go into the world, you know, you, and, 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 and trying to, you know, make more money and quote unquote just do better, you know, and how that's not necessarily wicked. First of all, the scriptures speak about uh, a man um, enjoying the fruits of his labor, you know. Um, so if you get on a gig, you busting your ass, brother. You should be, you, be, you should be trying to, you know, make more, you know. And pray to the Lord, the Most High, give you that wisdom, all right, to navigate, you know? Um, things like negotiating, calling up your job, negotiating for more pay, shit like that, walking with, like, that rulership, authoritative mentality, and people respect that, you know? And the Most High, all right, can bring you from the dunghill, man, all right? Just uh, raise up, you can raise up a man from the dunghill, you know? I always say concerning adversity and prosperity, when you in tribulations and you brought low, the most I bring it to a lower state, as it says in the book of Ecclesiastes, it's the second chapter, um, depart not away, all right, or cleave unto him, all right, 10 times more, but the same one that puts you in that situation is the same one that has the ability to take you out, and that's the most high, all right, see, I am pushing the vibration of, all right, let's level the fuck up while we're here, whatever we're doing, okay, but at the same time, if we level up, don't say, you know, I did this on my own, that on my own. Well, the mo you got to say the most I put the spirit on me to do it, you know? So right now, in the mindset of, like, not getting fucking comfortable anymore with your job just because I'm, you know, brothers might be like, I'm a, I'm a fry cook, right? I'm flipping burgers. Okay, you're making some bread. Uh, I'm content with flipping burgers. We're going to be destroyed anyway. Uh, this world's going to be destroyed anyways. I'm just going to flip some burgers and, man, fuck all that, bro. Grind, make bread. All right, hustle, grind, have a hustling, grinding mentality, and apply that same thing with the truth. You know, if you look at if you look at our apostles and elders, they're the ultimate examples of that. They hustle, they grind, man. All right, always putting up shows. Okay, now the wisdom is what the wisdom is balancing both. You know, a lot of people when um they um they either veer too far right or veer, veer too far left. The key is how can I balance um. Having that same shock mentality 
coming in, coming in and, 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 and leveling up to make more bread, whatever. And of course, the more money I make, I could contribute towards the camp. So there you go. You know, help brothers that aren't up right now. You see. And then how could I also grow in the spirit of the Lord? You see. Hey, so acquiring both is a beautiful thing. All right. There's a lot of brothers. Um, you know. Look, the scriptures like us, like like us on the plant. Not every plant grow the same. You see, some grow slower, some grow faster, some have goat spurts, all that type of stuff. But the, the key is, you just want growth, man. You know, that's really that separates us from niggas. Niggas get older, but they never grow up. You know, so you want growth, all right? So that same sort of growth that you want in the truth, shit, man. Why not want it concerning um, physical thing as well? You know, I'm not saying. I'm not saying to be rich or goddamn multi-millionaire, all right? But fuck it, you know, just grind and shit, you know? So, yeah, and, that, and that's the, the reason I'm putting that, that lesson together is because, you know, I just started just reading different scriptures, like, you know, on that, being, like, laborious, you know, not being a sluggard. Um, and when you bust your ass, it's okay to enjoy yourself a bit, you know? Um, but at the same time, you don't want to get too caught up in that shit because that, you know, the flesh... There's a constant war between the flesh and the spirit. You see, there's certain things that incite, entice the flesh, certain things that entice the spirit that contradict each other, that make them at war with each other, you know? I'll give you a prime example like now, right? If I say, look, I'm going to wake up early, I'm going to hit the gym, and then boom, I'm going to go to work, and then boom, I'm going to, you know, make another little side hustle. Then you might say, okay, you're making money, the flesh is getting please because you're going to be buying yourself some this buying yourself some that but where's the spirit where's the shows so that's what that's what that's a, that's a good example of what i'm making or a man might say i'm just going to fully devote myself to the work work uh, uh work or the ministry all right then he's having a hard time paying his bills because he's he doesn't have no time to put out applications or or, or, or deal with, you know what i'm saying so he that's able to walk that 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 line of making sure the work of the lord is done all right, while doing that, um, your daily activities in the world, you know, that's that's some, that's some good attributes. Of course, we know that the work comes first, though. You know, that's what we have to prioritize. We have to prioritize the work first. Whatever we do, whatever we we set our hearts to, the work has to come first. And that's that's the, that's a primary mandate, you know, because at the end of the day, um, when it comes to deliverance, all right, most sides not going to say, okay, what's your resume before I put you on the chariot? Most of don't give a shit about that. Your spiritual resume is what matters, okay? Laboring, all right? Faith, you know? So, yes, you're going to have brothers be delivered that didn't labor that long at all, really, you know? Just faith. But guess what? Now that we know of this knowledge, we're obligated to go out there and teach this word, man, all right? Because faith without works is dead. All right, so if you believe in this thing, you're gonna put forth the works. You're gonna put up the videos. You're gonna help brothers out. Uh, you're gonna be charitable. All right, you might console a brother on the phone, talk to him, build them up. You know, fellowship with the body. These types of things is what makes a man grow. And you know what? It's beautiful when you see it, man. It's beautiful when you talk to a brother, and years later you talk to him again. You're like, wow, man, this brother is really grown in the spirit. Like, it, it, you see it. You know, and it, it just it just lifts you up. Like, yep, y'all, Bashim, y'all, Shah's promoted that man. In the spirit, you see, I've, I've used the exact example in the past couple of weeks. Daniel, Joseph, all right. Um, Tobit, Tobit was um, up there in the, um, the Syrian Empire until it went down, and then he got brought back low. He got brought down low, but at the same time, even when he got brought back down low, he was still being charitable with the brothers, always going up to Jerusalem three times a year, unlike his, unlike his fellow kingsmen, you know. Still giving thanks to the Lord. And the most I blessed him in the fact that he heard about the destruction of Nineveh before he died. You see? So faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is completely the most important, man. All right? There's no reason to be uh, fearful to, to, to venture out and try to capture something. Um, fearful to, 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 to be intimidated by these people in the world. You should be bold as a lion and know that the most I is with you. You see? And whatever challenges are brought to you, and spiritually or on the worldly basis, on a fleshly basis, we're going to take it on with wisdom and confidence in the most high, you see? And that's what it's about.
you know. Hey, look, man, these couple of past couple of weeks have been nothing but a lot of, uh, um, I don't know, life lessons type lessons, you know. But hell, man, I've been going fucking working eight days straight now. Long hours. But well, fuck it, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, that's just that's just what it is right now, you know. You're gonna get it by the sort of the brow, alright? That's another thing too, man. Brothers, brothers should be wanting to work, man. Brothers, brothers should be wanting to grind. Okay? You know, if you if we if we constantly in jams, hell you know, that's 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 all the law too, but we gotta find ways to say, you know what? I gotta put my ass to work. You know? We gotta put we gotta put ourselves to work. We gotta we gotta hey man, we gotta do things that necessarily don't make us comfortable. We gotta do things um that sometimes, you know, a lot of times we don't wanna do. Really, none of us wanna work, but we in hell, we in captivity. So brothers gotta get themselves to work and you know, push themselves out there and, and get it done. You know, you know as men, you know, book a job, you know, show you um greater than laws that command as a man, you know, we have far more responsibilities in the world. You know, women can be careless all they want. You know, there's this this society forgives them and even rewards them for their bullshit and um miscomings. But in this world as a man, forget about it, man. You know, if you're not if you're not there's a burning performance on us, see? And this and then you know what, we just gotta accept that. You know, the reality is reality, see. So, you know, a little uh Life lesson this whole entire week. You know about if you if you missed the previous lessons about being a shark in the world, being a lamb and the truth. You know, um, balancing out both. You know, trying to level up in the spiritual sense and in the, the physical sense. And at the end of the day, I'm summing up everything that you know past couple three lessons. And at the end of the day. The most size is the one that's going to give you that promotion. The most size is the one that's going to raise you up. You know, um, Lord willing. So, you know, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Shakadash, the blindness to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, True Well. Salutations to the whole field of life out there. You are Kim to Sadakim that do this in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.